Another little talky scene on the other side of town. Hello there. You're headed to Lorington Tower too? Just a bit ago, a brawny, silver-haired man asked me how to get there. Did he say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said someone else might stop by and ask about the tower, and told me to tell him if they do. Did he mean you? <sighs> no clue. So he was planning on us following him. What's he scheming? You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey? Both. I don't even know why I checked. Loringen Tower lies beyond the burn. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah, I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone? Hmm? Uh, Magi Lu is traveling with us, even though she doesn't care. And that... <coughs> Yes? Go on. I don't really understand <coughs> oh, what that's dying. about. Uh, oh, Miss Magi Lu, <coughs> hang in there! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. Uh, what am I choking on? <coughs> Let me clear my throat. Okay, I think I'm better. I think I'm better. That doesn't sound, that's a uh, Tales of Abyss. Are all the games in the same world? I thought just the two were. Played too many of these games. It's, what's extra fucked up is I don't even really like the Tales games. I like Star Ocean way more. It's the way superior version of this type of combat. You know, mainly because the buttons work. Uh, but yet here I am playing this when I still haven't beat the last Star Ocean. The last one to come out on PC. I mean, beat the last few Star Oceans. I even started it and I just kind of dropped it. I don't know why. Can't go back in there. There's a 
arbitrarily blocked off. No even little story thing. No exorcist saying you can't come in here. Usually they have some kind of roadblock. I get that you're pushing me towards, you know, where the story is, but it's kind of odd. What if I wanted to go back in and kill, you know, the things? I already killed the things, but what if I didn't? <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said? I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh, really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women, and of everyone, really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Well, um... It's like Zavid said. You start talking with your fists instead. Sounds or your gun. Than I thought. Or your pendulum. Why are cats giving me dog tails? What did those cats do to those dogs? monster there's usually loot oh shit I didn't buy life bottles when I was back in town I'm gonna go all the way back and buy those son of a bitch <clears throat> I got distracted by being stupid Check that. Yeah, I have zero life bottles. I ain't going into that fight with no life bottles. That would be foolish. I don't think I need to buy anything else, just the life bottles. Maybe I'll actually look at what the other things do and buy those. Or consider buying the Mabo Curry stuff. Mabo Curry is probably the best food. I wasn't trying to fight you guys. Death is unnecessary. I almost used my mystic art. I need to save that for the boss fight. For once, I'm glad that it didn't register. I definitely hit it, but then I was like, oh no, I shouldn't do that. Kill him and lose him, or you're supposed to gain when you kill. <laughs> Crash! 
shield. Make it yeah. 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 Clear light. Crash. Crash through. Crash through. Paint the tail red. Crash through. Crash through. Crash through. Ooh, feels like a five now. Crash through. This works. Make it stick. Housing. The holy bottles do. How much are you running around avoiding the weak shit? I never use the end, so really could use one of those, and I hypothetically should never run into anything, right? Sounds about right. Kinds of drama going down. Some of this real quick. Mainly I want to read it because they're talking shit about someone I don't like. Tempted to join in the shit talking, but nah. I got video games to play. But I do kind of want to motherfuck that guy. He's a motherfucker. Dude's trying to do some Jim Jones shit, getting everyone together for a group suicide. Ah, uh, someone made the reference. Oh no, they just said cult leader, so... I'm still better, so I said Jim Jones. I'm gonna go make the reference real quick. There we go, reference made. Other games. And that chat room's for a game I'm not even currently playing. Why? Toxic little community. I don't like a majority of the people in it. Why am I bothering to read it? I like maybe two of them. Or a cactus. Fuck you. We have a chance. Oh. Any human, and that's it. Any human that's weak to water.
for an opener. Cut flows. Already with the bullshit of not letting me activate. And that one even led to a death. I have full gauge. I'm not gonna just. Yeah. Don't kill yourself if you have nothing left to live for. Lovely. Character, so I can. Nothing. Kill me, stupid! I'm trying to die. Clear light, invigorate us. Inspiration. How very unlike me. Hardcore mode would be cool. I need the people that are writing in text that are not listening to me. this with that and it kind of becomes make this the specialized one So I'm not gonna get the special bonus combo thing. How are you dead already? him in, use the counter button, and he dies anyways. I'm in your debt. No escape. Used it again there. Trigger doesn't work on one character, why would it work on the other? A shameful defeat. Kill us. Kill us. How very unlike me. Clear light. Invigorate us. How could I be I don't think we have a chance. I said that. You won't get away. You 
by him coming in and got one shotted. Gotta be shitting me. You extra gotta be shitting me. Why are you just bringing yourself in at will? That's why. You dirty little fuck. Oh. I got one anyways. specifically to use the counter move, and he didn't counter move. I gotta respond to even the controls that generally work now? Come on. Oh, 
started spamming the the transformation button as soon as I started using the Mystic Art. And still, when it came out of it, nope, it didn't go off. That makes sense to me when it does and does not go off. Makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I know it's the game. Why are you not Mystic Arting? Mystic Art! Or just, you know, get killed. And now I can't use the Mystic Arc because I lost all my meter. Double check. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Just making sure there wasn't any kind of extra conditions that I was unaware of. I guess the condition is the game feels like letting it work. Dying to the game not responding. It's so goddamn annoying. Wait, what happened to my berserk? I didn't even realize I didn't have it until. Oh, hey, he's turning around to kill me. And fucking Lava said goes and steals the shit. My better goes and oh, my can't swap. One good hit. Why are you not using your mystic art? You have four bars. Because the shit restarted. No, I can't die here. Light heal. Game is so fucking annoying. Like, with how much it's pissing me off, I'm surprised I haven't dropped it and forgotten about it. You little fuckheads. You guys don't need the souls for shit. I do. Oh, 
Can't wipe us out. No fucking fight. Disgraceful. Trying to change the rules on me. one of the seven wonders of the world, the Burnak Geyser. The water heats up from underground until the pressure forces it to spray up from the surface. And the rainbows are caused by light reflecting from the salt suspended in the mineral water. It took tens of thousands of years for the minerals to accumulate here and form this phenomenon. Wowee! That was very educational. At least you know plenty of trivia, if nothing else. Additionally, the groundwater veins that feed this geyser are connected to the sea. Because of this, every now and then a boiled octopus or crab will shoot out from the geyser! No way! That's impossible! Well, not impossible, but with the salt content of the geyser's water, I bet they're seasoned to perfection. Mogulu, I'm declaring your bizarre imagination the eighth wonder of the world. People say that all the time. Also, geysers are, you know, super volcanoes. All right. That have exploded and let the crater eventually will explode again and wipe out the planet. Not so much with the initial explosion, that'll just kill the people nearby, but the ash that'll blacken out the sun. Yellowstone will probably kill us all. I mean, not in our lifetimes, but you know, your descendants, they're gonna get killed by Yellowstone. Assuming nuclear war, or meteor impact, or flooding, something else doesn't get them first. So, yeah, pass that on to your children. Did you get the medicine to the ship's crew? Yeah. Good. My thanks to you. These soldiers won't be happy in the morning, but they're alive. Is this your work? No. They were like this when I got here. It must have been Zavid. He didn't kill a single one. Interesting. The Abbey is going to great lengths to arrest him. Even so, he clearly knows he's walking into a trap. What I don't get is why he roped me into all of this. If he didn't want my help, 
Then what need did he have to play the Eifried card on me? If you knew this was a trap, why did you come? To see for myself. When I met Eifried, I was wallowing in despair that I would ever find a way to break the Reaper's curse. Stop denying reality, he told me. If you were really born with that curse, then it's a part of you. But if the Reaper learns to grasp the wheel of his life, even he may find his creed, his path through stormy waters. And so, I joined him aboard the Von Eltia. A creed of life. Let's say someone's murdered the captain. If it came as the result of him living life on his terms, I could accept that. <sighs> but if anyone, and I mean anyone, tries to crush his way of life, I could never forgive them. Who's there? It's rude to eavesdrop. If you got secrets, talk about them at home. Zavid, isn't there any way you and Aizen can work together somehow? Not if he's going to keep acting like this. <clears throat> well, that's how it is. What was the point of all that posturing? He could have just stayed hidden. Weirdo. Can't disagree there. Fuck show. Nine. Loringen Tower is a training ground for exorcists, right? Yes. It's a great edifice built on ancient ruins. Luffy said. Did you ever go there when you were tethered to Teresa? I don't really remember the beginning of my service to Teresa. I see. What sort of training do they do there? Exorcists are tested and assigned Malachim equivalent to their aptitude with mana. It's also where they practice Malak arts and study our laws. So the lower ranks use it as a sparring ground in order to train up to the higher ranks? No, an exorcist's affinity to mana is not something that strengthens through training. We are given Malachim based on our inborn ability, then learn arts to suit that ability. So, an orderly is an orderly for life, then? Correct. There'd be no spirit of competition, then. Don't they want to get stronger, to advance through the ranks? There'd be no purpose to advancement. Rank signifies nothing more than the type and number of Malachim one can tether. People join the Abbey for only two reasons. To protect people from demons, and to save the world. Are all of you that dedicated to asceticism? How sickeningly noble of you. I wonder if your wills are suppressed just like those of the Malachim you use. Deviants like you could never possibly understand our motives. In any case, that is who awaits you at Loringen Tower. So we're in for a rough welcome. I say bring it on. I can't wrap my head around Zavid. Hmm. We witnessed his unwillingness to kill before, but it seems he's quite serious about it. Maybe that's why I don't feel scared of him. Even when he and Aizen were about to fight, I didn't feel tense at all. Perhaps that's just because you've been around Velvet a bit too long, kiddo. Next to her, few people are frightening. Do you think so? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't come across as vicious. I think that's why you're not scared. Because he's just a brawler? <laughs> Maybe he's just naive. Okay, so he's just a naive brawler. He's still involved with Eifried's disappearance. And he's also taking on the Abbey. I just don't get him. Me neither. Uh-huh. I agree, but I don't understand any of you either. Oh. For that. Oh, my header is you decide because if she ends up swapped, I want her to swap back out. Good. 
help uh, reduce them running around picking up souls. Should I go I back to town to buy light bottles? Why did Eifried let Aizen join a ship, knowing he carried the Reaper's curse with him? What good did it do? I just don't see the reason behind it. Well, if it were me who had that curse, it would mean that you and Velvet could die because of it, right? Yeah, I suppose so. If that's the case, then I'd feel like I <sighs> both want to and not want to be close to you two. And... I'd probably really, really hate myself for it. Do you suppose that's how Aizen feels? But Eifried still took him in. The he agreed bottle. they put up that's with the curse blowing. together. It's all a bit hard to fathom. Well, if one thing's for certain, it sounds like Eifried's a very strong man. At least for a base lawless pirate. Worked that well. Aizen, can I ask you about that thing Zavid had? It belonged to Ifri, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives and weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the far continent. It's a relic from a long vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we've found, that one was his most prized. What is it? I can't say. It seemed like a weapon, but Eifried wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own, then came back all grinning, saying he had an ace up his sleeve the next time we got into a fight. Then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device? But why is Zavid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Did he really steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but... Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. He said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps. Oh, you fucking asshole. I enter the fray. Hey, do not do you think plane moms are knocking me out of demon mode now? No finisher. I thought we were it's twice in that fight with no finisher.
of their means I've been here before. a chest over here. I will, however, go over to the herb and see if I can pick it up. It's been a while since I've been over here. Here from the map. hasn't respawned. I swear near the start of the game he told me these things respawn. It's been a long ass time since I've been over here. Both in terms of time and gameplay. I missed that before. It was in a pretty obvious spot. Exorcist with me. I'm a civilian. Also, I could take that group. since I changed out anyone's gear, but apparently still don't need to. Are we ready for this? That full of fuck. I cannot outrun these guys. you do it. Oh, 
No one on guard? They're really not bothering to hide this trap. They probably knew we'd sense it. The question now is just what they're planning to spring on us. Baker trap card. Very important that I got that one thing in those six other. Power level. These are never a complete pain in the ass. Five hours, I shouldn't be this tired. <laughs> Destroyed ass tower that people are living in in Zysteria. It might be. In which case, it shouldn't be that high. Eisen. When and how did Ifri disappear exactly? And how did you two meet in the first place? You know, you ask an awful lot of questions about us. What? I don't mean to pry, really. Perhaps it's a habit I picked up from my work. Drat, it seems I've been digging too hard. No matter. Ifrid vanished about a year ago. <sighs> he agreed to fight a duel against someone and secretly left to meet his opponent. Once we figured out what was happening, we rushed to the scene. But all we found was the aftermath of a fight, and a pendulum. Was Zavid his opponent? Given his choice of weapon and his ability to fight, I'd say it's likely. What I don't get is why Eifried would end up captured and imprisoned by the Abbey after a fight with a stray Moloch. I'm the Abbey all there weekend prisoner? from fighting each other. Island. Until an exorcist named Melchior took him away, that is. What? Lord Melchior did? The Abbey would have captured Ifrit about a year ago. Surely it must have caused quite a stir. I, I was simply patrolling. I wasn't involved in any such operations. Oh, but I do remember that we suffered a great number of casualties around that time. I never heard why, and when I went to investigate, I found no records of any major deployment. And then I was ordered to cease any such investigation by Lord Melchior. That's fishy. He wanted to hide something, clearly. And I think I'm starting to get a picture of what it was. And... it involves the Abbey? 
This is the same place from Lord. Get cut off like right here. The staircase is all smashed in and whatnot. That little courtyard was still there. Need more than six life bottles. Seven. I picked one up. Hoping to run into a turtles or something out here, but I did not. I freed. I thought you'd be taller. So. This is Von Eifried. Eisen, it's good to see you again. So you're alive. You could have sent a letter. <laughs> when have you ever written a letter to another man? <laughs> True. Aside from my little brother, not even once. Your brother? Ah, yes. You told me that once. Eisen, why? I've got no brother. No brother. Enough of your tricks! <laughs> really? Edna? Thanks for luring them out. I owe you one. Zavid. Now come on out, you old coot. Lord Melchior. Breaking through my double illusion. Impressive. I make it a point not to fall for the same tricks twice. I shouldn't have let you get away last time. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> what? Why am I here? Her consciousness has returned, so that is its power. into a demon what this can't be happening little dragon just like your brother or is that one not dead now chain reaction your reaper's curse is quite the dreadful affliction isn't it don't you run away Heads up! Wyvern's coming! Why would an 
Exorcist has created a demon. Hey, worry about that later. We've got damn dragons to take care of. about this fight is hard, they're just way too enduring. fucking down button even that didn't work I'm in your debt will you not swap still not swapping oh well, now he doesn't have the fucking BGs that's why okay, huh? who's the remedy that Shameful defeat. 
Shouldn't have even bothered swapping them in, because I knew how fucking stupid the swaps were. For one, for two, for three. For one, for two, for three. For one, for two, for three. Of course, after I say the fight isn't hard, I get myself in a shitty situation. Your counter. Now, rise, arise, ascending, angel. I can do it, but I can't do it. Hummer's inspiration. Devour. Make fun. Pushed into it. Disgraceful. Clear way, invigorate us. Clear way, invigorate us. Crash through. Clear way, invigorate us. Crash through. Turn again. 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 Target this one over here instead of the one that was right next to you. Sure. Smart targeting. Take that goddamn soul, you piece of shit. has an actual condition. Ooh, it's good against dragons, too. Okay. 
Too slow! How's this? Twin whip! Too slow! Make a sonic trap! Forget the pain in the- Why are you not in berserk mode? Quickness! Cross this! Go wide open! Cross this! Forget the pain in the move! Make it down! Yeah, he uses Earth Attacks and has an Anti-Dragon main attack. He really should have been here from the start, I guess. Wait, he's part of my core team. Why wasn't he here from the start? Oh, when he left the party, it fucked everything up. I didn't fix it. Through. Make a sonic drop! Crash through! Uh. Why is the healing so weak? You fuckhead. Forget the pain and move! Quickness! Take that piece of power! Crash through! Finish! Feel it, Craig! Make a sonic drop! Take that piece of power! Crash through! Can be right on top of him. That was a shit show. Looks like you got caught in your own trap, old man. Oh, are you sure about that? I'll take care of the last one. <laughs> Turn it back into Edna. He just saved the wyvern? You folks jump in and kill without a second thought! Is that your creed? Marvelous. Your Siegfried is just the power I've been looking for. What? My work here is done. The hell did you do? Wait, damn you! Follow them! Got a 3D printer!
Where the hell did they go? Find them. They can't have gotten far. Where did you go, George? Sure got some speedy legs for an old fart. I'm glad to see you're okay, Zavid. It's not me that I'm worried about. Melchior was highly interested in your weapon. And yet he didn't steal it. Surely a legate like him could snatch it if he wanted to. Why bother stealing it? When you can just copy its hidden formula. Some arts can decipher the workings of other arts in a split second. And guess what Melchior's specialty is? As he left, he said, My work here is done. The Abbey must have some use for that unknown art. Who knows what? After all, they brought it here from another continent. <laughs> then we'll find out what they're after and crush it to dust. Let me ask you just one question. Why do you have Siegfried? I'm counting on you, he said. Back when I served the Exorcists. They sent me on a mission to capture Eifried. Savid, you were once their slave? Yeah. My mind was under the influence of Inominat's domain. But when Eifried aimed this baby at me, one shot was all it took to open my eyes. The fight we had after that was one for the books. <laughs> he might have been a human, but that guy was a beast. Put a song in my soul. But then Melchior had to jump in and spirit Eifried away with one of his damned illusions. That old bastard! Playing tricks with people's minds. But why'd he grab Eifried and not Siegfried when he had the chance? He probably didn't know at the time that this guy was the real prize he was after. But Eifried knew. Right before he was taken, he distracted Melchior long enough to hand Siegfried over to me. <sighs> well, that's all I know. Whether you believe me or not, is up to you. Got it. We're done here. Huh? That was easy. Eifried only says I'm counting on you to people he trusts. Is that so? I mean... Generally, so, that's a phrase you say to people now? you trust. Gonna keep looking for Eifried. So gotta give this back and settle our score. I doubt you have much time left to get that done. I'd hazard a guess that until now, Melchior was unaware what Siegfried could really do. In other words, he and the Exorcists weren't able to interrogate anything out of their captive. And now that Eifried's no longer needed, I see no reason for them to keep him alive. You think I don't know that? If you really want to save Eifried, you probably ought to team up with us. Nope. No can do. Why not? You already have six you party members. You do anything to achieve your goals. Even kill. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a fighter. Not a killer. I won't steal a single life. That's just my creed. And I've got no intention of changing our pirate creed, either. Aizen and Zavid have their own creeds. They both have such strong principles, even though they're so different. Just like humans. Almost like they're people. Well, that was sure something. Melchior and his illusions are cheats. There's no cheating in combat. What I meant is that they were awfully dirty tricks for an upstanding exorcist. And the illusion seemed so real. Had that gone on any longer, I wouldn't have been able to tell what was real and what was fake. If it can't be distinguished from reality, perhaps one could live a happier life within the illusion. Hmm. <laughs> that sort of happiness can rot. You think so? But by using illusions, you can defeat an opponent without causing them any physical harm. Oh, how humane. 
Wow, the Abbey is so great. Lord Melchior is an exemplary man who has served Lord Artorius since before the Abbey's founding. He's done everything from logistical planning to defense strategy and even political negotiations. He shows the utmost concern, even for his opponents, so... He turned a friendly Moloch into a dragon. Th that was... Physical wounds can heal. Emotional wounds never fully fade. Yeah, but... Don't lose heart, Eleanor. Foul play is foul play, but you're talking to a demon and a witch. Who can judge? I appreciate that you're trying to console me, but as an exorcist, I cannot accept this. Scout ship... You know what you're getting into? be treasure I've already been, right? Are we ready for this? Save, I don't think so. No escape. Like heal up. Fuck out of here. Forget the <laughs> See ya. Never swap her out. Playing around with those swaps is too dangerous. Especially when I don't really know how much shit the people have. Come back here later. Bound to be sending me here next anyway, so wait till I have the story telling me to come here. I also want to get to a save point and take a break because I have to poop. So 
shows I could just pause, but I feel better getting to a save point. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all, but do you know anything else about it, Rokoro? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey! Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. I'll get a hundred free star metal bars. Now, um, Lafayette, I don't trust the guy saying may I that. Ask you something? But I'm interested. What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her His as well. sister. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- uh, Shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on, now. Like, a wife he wants to leave, but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, um. it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is... A daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Lafayette. said. Right. Aizen's the dragon in Zestiria. Okay. I don't remember the dragon having a name, but that sounds like it could be it. Things don't turn out well for him. That makes sense that Zavid wants to kill him, yeah. Get it. I get it. Prequel stuff. I get it. Connections. this from Hysteria too. Except it was more full of lily pads and shit you could jump on. 
There's still shit you can jump on, but there's more. Game feels like a distant memory, even though it only came out a few years ago. Oh, I look at the map sometimes when I'm trying to go somewhere, huh? Save point right outside the city, then break time. Yay, my favorite time is break time. Up over. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I wish I had power like that. Okay, break time. I'll try to be back by the time this exploration is done, but no guarantees on that. 